What's up guys, welcome back again to your Heroclix headquarters. Today, uh, first of all, sorry about the quality, I'm on my phone because my good camera is over there recording games right now. But today I've got Spencer White with me and we're gonna take a quick look at his awesome Mission Point team. So let me turn this around here. All right, Spencer, take it away. Hey guys, uh, just finished uh, top eight here. Um, did uh, finish second in Oklahoma, just got done with top eight here. Um, this is the version of my mission point team that I've refined down um, that's been winning pretty consistently. Um, we've got Casey Green Lantern, Mad Jim, Chip, Molecule Man, the Riddler Legacy card, the Watcher from the starter set, the Indigo One and Uwatu from Future Foundation. Uh, Indigo is of course starting with the Indigo Ring and Green Lantern with the Green Lantern Ring. And uh, the Watcher with the Captain uh, Carter Shield, pretty standard stuff as far as the equipment goes. Um, so the way it works is, I just if I win map, I usually go in this negative zone, um, so that there's this sort of fatal funnel uh, in here, um, and I can usually generate uh, with two actions 13 squares of barrier. Um, so the trick is these two uh, stay next to each other. Watcher chooses the start of the turn, what click he wants to go to. Um, so he goes to usually click five or click six, depending on if I want to start with Outwit or Perplex. Um, and then Indigo One uses her support power, um, and she says for every click healed, um, she gets to gain a mission point. So the Indigo Ring gives me one additional click healed, so it's a minimum of two, maximum of four heal on uh, the Watcher. Um, Riddler is a really cool perplex, um, so when he perplexes someone, he gives them a puzzle token, and then every subsequent time I target them with perplex on anything, on any uh, single d6 roll but a one, I get mission points, um, and then it stacks. So the second time I give them a puzzle token, I get two mission points for each perplex. Um, I've got several sources of perplex. Um, he has perplex that doesn't require a line of fire. The watcher has perplex whose line of fire is never blocked. We've got perplex here with Mad Jim. Uh, Molecule Man can get hit onto Perplex, um, and then we've got the function of Mad Jim. He usually swaps out this green ring for a dark hold. We've got another Perplex here, and he assigns this giant Uatu the Sinestra ring for a fifth Perplex. Um, we've got probs, so we've got prob with Uatu, prob with Chip, um, and then also can choose prob with the dark hold, um, and that's how Uatu gains mission points. So when my opponent rolls breakaway or an attack roll, if I choose to reroll it with probability control, I get to gain a mission point. That's once per attack or breakaway. So it can gain up to three mission points that way. Usually um, the thing is turn one, generating with the support. Um, once my enemy closes, generating with the perplex and still the support if they don't close on them. Um, and then just continuing to have sort of this formation uh, where we get the free barrier from Mad Jim, the free barrier from Molecule Man, um, and then two um, stop signs. Um, he can, uh, so we usually start something like this, and then sidestep back, so we get two stop signs out. Um, and then switch over. Um, we've got Mad Jim, so our other sideline options are things like um, Time Platform, and the symbiote to give things like stealth or to send opponents out of my face, essentially. Um, but yeah, it, it generates mission points pretty consistently. The big tarot card um, is Judgment, which uh, every time that a character heals, you gain one mission point. Um, so the way this works is it stacks with Indigo 1, so she gains her mission points, and then the card generates them separate from her, all off of her one action. Um, I also have cards like this Defend, which makes Watchers Defend even more potent. Um, and then Support is free, so that it prevents Indigo 1 from taking a token on one of the turns I choose to use Support. The other two cards are um, less important, but required for the build. Um, to make a legal tarot deck. And then the final important piece of my sideline is Peacemaker. So anytime one of my characters of 40 points or more ends up coming in, he can generate mission points just by using probability control. Um, but that that's pretty much it. Finished with 19 mission points today, just one away. 
All right, so thank you, Spencer, for showing us your awesome Mission Point team. Uh, I just wanted to sneak this in here real quick before he's got to go. And uh, you've got top eight at Arkansas, like he said. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to smash that like and subscribe button and check the links in the description for the Patreon. And uh, yeah, I got to go back to judging this event. So until next time, this has been Hero Clicks Headquarters, signing off.